Guys, I found video footage for you that is really, really interesting. The events on the Kamchatka Peninsula, or let's say, yeah, on the peninsula, but also off the coast of the peninsula are not over. These aftershocks keep coming. On the one hand, then volcanoes are exploding. I just released a video about this. We just had another strong aftershock, magnitude 6.7, and just a few hours before that, a 7.0, which they later downgraded to 6.9. But I'm not talking about the earthquakes right now in this video. I'm talking about the tsunami waves. Many people wrote in the comments, oh, that was nothing, a nothing burger. Guys, this was not a nothing burger. It has sent these tsunami waves across the Pacific and we see damage, especially in California. I'll show you footage of that, but I also want to show you some footage. It's um, after the Kamchatka uh, earthquake, when basically immediately the waves were hitting uh, Russia, the coastline there in Kamchatka. This is probably an island, the Shumshu Island. You see the waves come in, you see there's someone walking with their dog and you see the waves come in. And you know, waves don't need to be like 30, 40, 50, 100 feet high to do damage because the first wave might not even be the most pressing. And then you have these waves and it's not only the wave height, but it's also the amount of water that comes against it, that's pushing against it in the second, third wave. And you also see this here in this video, how high the waves come up the hills actually. And the doggy seems to be a little bit, oh, nothing to see here, I'm not in danger. So, a little bit surprising um, but you see with how much force the waves push against this area and tsunami damage of course it depends on the geology of the area here we have hills that hold it back a little bit but if we have more flat plain areas that are more susceptible to that we have more problems and Crescent City in California is an area like that. We don't have high and tall cliffs. So now how officials are saying there's record tsunami waves that had reached Crescent City, especially the Crescent City Harbor in California. And these tsunami waves cause over 1 million US dollar in damages to that harbor. So the magnitude 8.8 .8 mega thrust earthquake, subduction zone earthquake that happened off the coast of Kamchatka, Russia, has sent tsunami waves of up to four feet, 1.2 meters to Crescent City Harbor. And if you're on a beach and that reaches you, this is critical. And the problem was, this was July 30th, these tsunami waves were coinciding with high tide, which of course made them more impactful. So the city has now, aside from the over $1 million damage to the harbor, set a new record for the highest tsunami waves on record for the continental United States. So we've had tsunami warnings when there's bigger earthquakes in Japan, mega thrust earthquakes and stuff like this. But you know, this 8.8 .8 has caused a tsunami wave, the highest on record. So this is not insignificant. So right after the earthquake, these tsunami waves were generated and they were arriving through the night and also continued through the next day. And the Harbor District has released a press release, the Harbor District of Crescent City, and they said most of the damage occurred approximately at 2.40 a.m. local time on July 30th, when a significant wave surge has lifted the floating concrete dock too high before submerging it. And I've shown you video footage here, I showed you again, look at the right bottom corner where you see the boats are going up and down and up and down. This is, this is of course sped up the video, um, it's not the normal speed, but you can see. So really, Crescent City has recorded the highest tsunami waves 
ever observed in the continental United States during this event. So this four feet tsunami wave has amplified together with the high tide, the currents and the harbor surge. And then we have to look at the location of Crescent City because that is interesting. It's just shoreward of the Mendocino fracture zone and that channels tsunami energy into deeper water and that accelerates wave speed before it's reaching the shore. And this is also Northern California, which is also still part of the many say overdue impending doomsday magnitude nine plus mega thrust earthquake, the big one that could be triggered by the Cascadia Fault. So basically, because of how this Mendocino fracture zone is located, this creates how scientists call it a bathymetric effect. And this has contributed to at least 41 recorded tsunami events in this area since 1933. And several of these events have caused severe damage, but this is the largest event that they have ever recorded. So after the 2011 Tohoku Oki tsunami, that was really a bad event in Japan, um, the city of Crescent City had constructed basically a floating concrete age dock in Crescent City Harbor. Basically, they were hoping that this would function as a wave attenuator. So as a precaution, this is what they did after the 2011 earthquake. But on July 30th, that tsunami waves have destroyed this floating concrete dock. And it's not that this dock wasn't anchored. It was anchored by closely spaced steel pilings driven like 21 to 37 feet, that's six to 11 meters right into bedrock. And it was engineered, I have to say, basically as a sacrificial structure to absorb incoming wave energy. And it seems that it has done that. Unfortunately, it has been destroyed. So what happened when the waves came in, the structure was detached from its pilings and it failed under the surge. But I guess as intended, right? So it has protected the inner harbor. So the loss of this H dock has damaged electric wiring, of course, potable water lines that were laid in the harbor and fire suppression systems. And of course, if such strong waves are coming in, um, that's bad for a harbor that needs to have a certain depth. So sediment and debris was deposited in these navigation channels of the harbor. So now this requires dredging and of course, underwater clearance. So they have to do some work in the harbor, but you know, no vessels were reported lost or significantly damaged. And I think that's great. So what is our takeaway? They have done some measures after the 2011 event, and it seems to be working, guys. But if you want to know what's going on with the volcanoes on the Kamchatka Peninsula, they're exploding dormant volcanoes check the video on the end screen. If you want to support the channel, maybe because you liked this video, fill me up with coffee, guys. Check the links in the description. I have a buymeacoffee.com slash silky site or become a supporting member of this channel. Click the join button or the link in the description. Thank you for your supers, your comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing and hello to everyone who's new here. I hope you stay and I hope I see you right in the next video if you click here. Bye-bye.